Now, now if I fail, it's going to cost a lot of people their jobs. Hey, Terry, Andrew Abdo here. Were you expecting my call? Earlier this morning, the Commission approved the addition of the Dolphins. I wanted the challenge, I wanted to do the job, I wanted to be the coach. It's an opportunity to give more young players a pathway through to the NRL. I wanted to come up here, I wanted to play for the Dolphins. <laughs> come on, let's get this going here. We've cra it's crashed. Um, we got absolutely smashed. I've probably struggled a bit more than I've let on. Make no mistake about it, they did a job on us. I expect this last third to go to another level. Can we do that? Would you be against making the four you do? No. Everything we do is to make the game a better sport. It may turn out to be our greatest day. If you'll commit to doing your best, you'll be absolutely amazed in your life what you'll achieve. Dawn of the Dolphins is a brand new documentary landing on stand this Monday, a three-parter, all about the NRL's first new club in 16 years. And it's Queensland's fourth club in the competition, the Dolphins. And it's born out of the Redcliffe Dolphins, which have been a mainstay of Queensland Rugby League for years. And it's certainly been a big part of uh, Queensland Rugby League legend Arthur Beetson, who has long maintained that the Redcliffe Dolphins should have a footprint in the NRL or the national game. And the Dolphins are that. Please note that the difference, the Queensland Dolphins are the QRL team. The Dolphins are the NRL team. Can't have the same name. So they can have the same last bit, apparently, but they can't have the same name. Look, this is um, this is a documentary that I kind of felt a bit weird about. I've only seen the first episode. And all of it is about, of course, the birth of the Dolphins and their push into their very first their very first game in the NRL competition proper, which at time of recording is this afternoon. So if you get to listen to this before that, tune in, check it out. It'll be history in the making. The Dolphins, who will do their best, I'm sure, and probably won't do great this season because it's their first season and first-year teams always struggle. I'm sure they will will build a great uh, legacy for, for their fans and within the NRL as a part of that. What this documentary offers us is spectacular insight in what it takes to get a club into the modern game as much as uh, what it you know means to have one of the greatest ever rugby league coaches in Wayne Bennett, uh, not only tick, but deeply involved in the process. And what we learn, particularly when they start to talk to um, prospective players and those sorts of things, everybody wants to play for Wayne. Everybody wants to be under his tutelage. He's that good. And, and by his own admission, he's an old bloke now. He didn't have to work, but he wanted to be involved in it because he believed in it. Um, this offers excellent behind the scenes footage and lots of great access and insight and into particularly the administration of the game and what it means to get a bit up as much as run a club, uh, as well as building a club in the middle of COVID lockdown which they had to do after the bid was approved in 2021. Uh, they then had a lot of stuff that where you would normally meet, it's a very face-to-face uh, -face personal kind of situation with player managers and players and uh, all of those sorts of things. A lot of that had to transform and go into Zoom, which is not, I mean, that's how we all worked. It's certainly not how they would have been keen to. Um, the difficulty is because it's this push about the birth of the Dolphins through to their first game, and it delivers weekly. So the first episode is this Monday, the 6th of March. Um, uh, yeah, Monday, 6th of March. I, I just felt that the pacing around the episode, the first episode that I saw was all over the shop. It just felt like it went from zero to 90 and stayed there for the whole hour that it was on. It's like, no, chill out. Where's the light and shade? Everything was frenetic. Everything was huge. And I mean, no spoilers. In the first episode, we learned that the Dolphins make it into the NRL. They're the successful bid. So if the next two episodes are about their push to their first game, which is today, are they holding on to that third episode to have a whole bunch of footage from the first game? I guess so. Um, it'll be a great time capsule for the Dolphins as a club, but I just felt that as a documentary, it was just a bit full on. There was no shade to all of its light. There was no slowing down for the curves. It was hitting them at, at full pace. This is absolutely going to be uh, one for the fans and definitely fans of the Dolphins. It's no drive to survive, but it's still a solid sporting documentary. And congratulations to Onion TV who've made this um, for Stan. Uh, long live the Dolphins. May they do well. May they always reign huge. 
uh, and become a big part of what is now the NRL 17 teams in the national competition. Dawn of the Dolphins. There are three episodes. They drop weekly. As I said, the first episode drops on Monday, the 6th of March on Stan. 